Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I'll be showing you all my polishes that I have for my Halloween rack. Now, I like to do this every season, for the most part anyways, at least consistently, I would say like the past couple of years. Now, as you know, I always do a seasonal rack um, and I usually will do these like secondary seasonal racks. Um, usually it's just for Halloween and Valentine's Day. I don't really do a big one for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, I'm not like super into holiday polishes, like Christmas time polishes, um, but I'm really big into Halloween polishes um, or Halloween themed polishes and fall polishes. I do do my, my seasonal like winter rack as well, but separately from those four major seasons i usually will do this one halloween and then valentine's day so i tried not to pick too many just because i already have a large enough fall seasonal rack and i'm trying to go through these ones for the month of october which we'll see i mean obviously i'm not going to be able to get to all of them but i like to have a good little setup just to kind of pick and choose this time around i did swatch all of these on a swatch wheel um so that's exciting you guys will get to see these not only in the bottle but on the um on the swatch wheel as well and actually i kind of like i kind of like the swatch wheel it gives me um, a better look at the polishes and it kind of helps me with the decision making of what to wear so this is a collaboration video thank you to amanda from the polish hound and for jackie from nurse jackie here on youtube for setting all of this up getting the list of all of the wonderful participants together please make sure you check out their videos i'm going to link them down below i love these collab videos because i can just binge watch everybody's polish like racks um, and it's fun to see like who else has the same types of polish that I have on my rack. So let's get into all right, it. So I have all my pretties swatched on the swatch wheels. If I sign a little bit hoarse, um, I have, I think like a little cold, something is going on. I have some chest congestion and I sound like I have a frog in my throat. So I apologize, but um, let's start off with the first color. I'm also filming on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I wasn't really a fan of this phone in the recording, so please let me know if you notice a difference in quality, whether that is better or not better. I usually use an older iPhone to film and I really like the quality of that. But um, So first up is this beautiful color right here. And this is from Colores de Caro and this is Confection Affection. It's a beautiful jelly base um, with see some see some square glitters, um, hex glitters. You have your matte black glitters as well. I thought this was going to build up a little more red. So on camera, it is showing off as red, but in person, it looks more pink. Um, and even in the bottle, it looks a little bit red. I almost wonder if I just add a third coat if that will deepen it up and get it to like look like this deep red in the bottle, which I'm sure it probably would. But even so, I can just use like a red base underneath and paint it over um, and paint like my one or two coats of, of this shade over it. And then another color is Um So I don't, I usually, um, I don't pair my, my polishes by color. I always pair them by brand. It makes the most sense to me. Um, so you'll see that sometimes I might mess up and forget I have a brand and stick it in with like a different brand. But for the most part, I try to keep them by brand. And I feel like Colores de Caro, they really do a good job with, well, I don't know if this is on purpose, but I don't know. A lot of her polishes I feel like are very Halloween, October fallish vibes, or at least the ones that I have. So um, I usually gravitate towards her polishes during the fall and um, and like Halloween months, even though this, I know this month I really didn't, um, or for my seasonal rack, but I'm trying to try as many different polishes in my collection. Um, but I do prefer her brand for Halloween and fall. So like I mentioned, this one is Machu Picchu. This was from August HHC, um, 2022. 
so it's a beautiful it has a little bit of reflective glitter in there um, like silver reflective glitter um, all of your beautiful beautiful micro flakies you have like silver um, micro flakies holographic flakies you have gold flecks in there it is a beautiful color it almost reminds me of a china glaze color called it's alive which i do have on here um, but i will do a side by side when i get to that so you guys can see next up we have another colores de caro and this is the new kid in town this is an old one this was from july 2021 hhc it was a spider-man theme um, again it's coming off a little pink so i'll show you the bottle actually so it definitely looks a little more red in the bottle um, on the swatch wheel it's coming off a little more pink but i only did two coats and a glossy top coat for all of these so i'm assuming if i did a third it would really deepen up that shade or like i mentioned with this shade if i were to use a red base underneath and then you know top this over it it probably would look amazing but you have your black shards in there your glitters it is a very very pretty polish next up is lemming lacquer and Mm, I can't really read this. Suggish witch? Or am I reading that backwards? No. I don't know what that says. What does that say? <laughs> does it have a bad word in there? <laughs> Either way, this polish is absolutely beautiful. It's your deep maroon base. It has a beautiful, beautiful, like deep pink to red shift. And hollow flakies in there it's coming off a little bit darker on camera you can definitely see that pink shift a lot more better in person it is beautiful moving on to nine zero lacquer and this is jack o lantern unfortunately nine zero lacquer um, they aren't making any more polishes at this time i want to be hopeful and say at this time <laughs> hopefully we get to see some more beautiful creations by jess but um no pressure at all jess if you're seeing this um you have to have this polish on here like how can you not this is the like this is halloween this shade is halloween i love nine zero lacquer's crellies they go on so smoothly you usually just need two coats this right here is two coats um, I love black flakies. I love black black shards. Uh, like this is a definitely this is a definite like you need to wear this for Halloween or before Halloween. The other nine zero lacquer I have is called Cauldron Fire. I actually picked this one up from a D stash um, and a couple of other ones too, which I was really really happy about. I was really happy I was able to score these. It was funny because it was in a carousel picture, so it didn't look like there were more than one polish unless you really like paid attention. So I was able to snag some. But I think I got this maybe almost, mm, I wouldn't want to say a year ago, but maybe earlier this year. So it's a beautiful black jelly base with those orange glitters. I think it's like orange holographic or orange shifty glitters but it's very, very pretty. Next up, we have Minx Lacquer, and this is Light in the Treehouse. Now, Minx Lacquer, I want to say they're a little more newish to the indie community. Um, I did pick this one up along with a couple other ones a while back, and I'm pretty sure they're still making polishes. But I remember seeing this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have this one. It is absolutely stunning. I love the squishy base. Um, I think I'd probably end up building this one up in three coats, um, but the gold flakies in here, they shift from pink to green to yellow. Very, very, very pretty. It almost gives off a like rose gold type of vibe. Moving on to Mooncat, and this is Plankton. How pretty is this? Look at that. It's your typical slime green. You have a blue shift in there with some, looks like gold or silver glitters, holographic flakes scattered amongst the polish. I built this up in two coats. This is beautiful. I feel like, for, like I have a little flaky from Minx in here, but I feel like this will look beautiful as a base color with 
Um, I don't do any nail art, but like if you did nail art, I think this would make a beautiful base. I actually did get some stickers um, from Salon Perfect in a PR package. And I think the, like this would look amazing over this green shade. And I'm not really one for stickers or nail art, but I'm kind of feeling these stickers and I want to try it over some Halloween manis. The next one from Mooncat is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Nope, Tyrannosaurus Hex. Um, this is also a very, very, very beautiful. It reminds me of a rainforest. Those glowing flakes, they shift from green to yellow to blue. Um, there's a scattering of uh, reflective glitter. It looks like silver reflective glitter. I built this up in two coats, but I think three coats would be best. And a nice glitter smoother. I just use a glossy top coat, but if you use a glitter smoother over that with three coats, that would be stunning. Next up is Polish Molish, and this is this support stones from Polish Pickup of 2022, July 2022. So when I originally saw this in my collection, I was like, oh yes, this is Halloween. And then when I started to swatch it, I was like, mm, I don't really know if it's Halloween. It's kind of giving me Christmas vibes. But then when I applied that second coat, I was like, you know what? This does not give me Christmas vibes anymore because the glitters are like irregular sized or like not irregular, but you have a different size glitters in there. So it almost makes it look like a disease. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't like creep anybody out or give you like the heebie-jeebies, but um, more than one coat definitely looks not Halloween. More than one coat definitely doesn't look Christmassy anymore. It looks Halloween to me. I think I'd probably add a third coat to this one too. Here we have Lemming Lacquer and this is Jack of the Lantern from Little Box of Horrors, another oldie of September 2021. I think I had this on my Halloween rack last year. I'm pretty sure that I did get around to wearing it too. But it's a beautiful burnt rusty orange. Do you see that glow? Hold on. I don't think you guys can see the glow. There's like an orange glow to it. Maybe on the nail. You can kind of see it running through. You can see it more in person for sure. But this formula is amazing. This is just two coats. So you see, I mix up lemon lacquer. I have a lemon lacquer in the beginning. They're actually two different bottle sizes, and so that's why it tripped me up. Next up is Boobird Lacquer, and this is the Fright Stuff. I ended up picking up their Advent Box. I don't think it was last year, maybe the year before, at one point in time. So I do have a lot of their Halloween polishes, um, but this one is this one is a little bit more darker. Um, like the base is more darker than I anticipated when I swatched it. It's really hard to see or really difficult to see the flakies that are in the bottle on the nail. This is just two coats and it's not like my camera is washing it out. Um, this is what it looks like in person. So it almost gives you more of like a textured kind of look, even though, you know, I added glossy top coat, but um, the flakies definitely get absorbed within that darker base. Um, you can still see some of some of the colors, but not as vibrant as you can see them in the bottle. So I don't know if I do end up wearing this, I may consider destashing it um, if I don't love it on my nails. Here we have Potion Polish and this is Every Day is Halloween. This is actually one of their newer polishes that I swatched. I have a video up on my channel. Um, this is a very, very vibrant, glowy orange. Like you can just see it glowing off of this swatch wheel. It is absolutely stunning. And I definitely need to wear this for Halloween. Potion Polish, Potion Polish makes amazing Halloween shades, fall shades. I purchased a collection from them last year, or maybe it was the year before. Um, and I was lucky enough to be able to swatch their collection this year. Next up, we have Madame Tilly Sneakles. This is from Victorian Varnish. This is their September Cog of the Month. So they always do a Cog of the Month. So it's like a special polish for the month. Um, Victorian Varnish is, I wanna say a fairly newer indie brand, but they have proven over and over again to me. And I'm sure if you've tried their polishes that their formula is amazing. And their colors and shades are beautiful. 
but I swatched this one and I was like, you know what? This one needs to go on my Halloween rack for sure. I want to really, really make sure that I wear this because it is so squishy and fun. On the nail, the flakies are so glowy. Ugh, like this swatch is not doing it justice at all. Next up, we have Dawn Polish, and this is actually from October PPU. So I did swatch this polish. This is Ah. Um, so you can actually still purchase this if it's available on the PPU site. But I remember swatching this one too, and I was like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Um, this is two coats, but in my swatch video that I have for PPU, I did do three coats, and it was just perfect. The beautiful pink glow. I am in love with the white glitters that have different sizes, the black flakies. It is everything that I love. Next up we have Polished for Days and this is Painting My Roses Red. This was from their Once Upon a Nightmare collection of last year. This is so pretty. Now I thought this was going to be a little more orangey on the nails but it looks a little more pink on my swatch wheel and in person it does look a little more pink. Um, I don't know if a third coat would make a difference in color or if it's just going to give me like that pink vibe or that like pink reddish vibe, but I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I can always add my little Halloween stickers. Like I said, I wanted to try to give it more of a Halloween vibe. Next up is Grimm's Fairy Tales. This is from, um, well, this is from PPU Rewind of 2022, but originally it must have come out way before then from BCB Lacquers polish is beautiful i feel like i always and this always ends up on one of my seasonal racks at some point in time because it's just so pretty and i know it's come back a couple of times in rewind moving on to the next swatch wheel we have kb shimmer and this is squad goals um, this is a very very old kb shimmer as you can tell from the bottle um but this is one of their Halloween polishes. It's your typical swampy, yucky green um, with beautiful glitters that shift from like a reddish, pale reddish pink to gold. Um, typical Halloween color, definitely a classic to have on your Halloween rack or your fall rack. And then I have another KB Shimmer. Um, this is Witch Please. I don't know what this is from. I know. I think it was from a polish pickup at some point, but it's gorgeous. You can see right here, built up in two coats. Formula is fantastic. It is a beautiful purple base, jam-packed with your flakies. So they, they're shredded flakies. They shift from yellow to gold to orange. It looks like almost pink as well. Um, the base is opaque but you still are able to get a good load of swatch, of swatchies, of, I was gonna say of swatchies. <laughs> it is too early guys. It is like super early in the morning right now. Um, of flakies on the nail. Here we have cu Cupcake Polish and this is Groovy Baby. I got this from Polish and Beauty Expo of this year, so 2023. Again, another grungy green shade that is jam packed with your shredded flakies so very small shredded metallic flakies this is just two coats how pretty is that of course i had to throw in a cream i'm actually wearing that on my nails with another one that you'll see very soon um, but this one is orly and this is bird of paradise amazing amazing cream formula orly has some great color choices when it comes to um, their polishes and collections. This is just two easy coats. Here we have Enchanted Polish and this is a Winifred. Of course I had to have this one on my on my rack. Um, unfortunately Enchanted Polish is no longer um, um, a brand so they're not selling polishes anymore which is really unfortunate. Um, they created some amazing polishes and um, I found out about them towards the end of their career, I guess you can say, or the end of their polish making business. But it's beautiful. This, guys, this is just two coats. Like, this is like a glitter bomb, but it is smooth. It builds up beautifully in just two coats. I definitely want to make a point of wearing this one 
for the Halloween season. And then what I have topped over, Birds of Paradise, is this beautiful one from Polish. And this is Grapefruit Fizz from For the Love of Polish of July 2022. So you have your flakies and a clear base. They look kind of peach on this wheel and obviously they look a little more orange and bright on here. Um, again, this is just two coats. Maybe if I would have done three, I would have got more of a orangey type of vibe. But I think it looks beautiful against this bright orange base. And I plan to use this over a couple of other polishes that maybe don't look as Halloween, um, just to see what I can get out of it. Next, we have Never Naked by Jackie, and this is Rotten Pumpkins. So Never Naked by Jackie, she um, has an Instagram and she's over here on YouTube as well, and as well. And she is also a part of this collab. She does make polishes, she puts out polish collections. I love her polishes. I wore this one last year, and I definitely want to wear it again. Here we have China Glaze, and this is caution might bite so this is from one of their newest collections i actually received it in pr and i've been meaning to swatch it for you guys i just haven't had the time but i saw it sitting here on my desk and i was like this needs to go on my halloween rack how could it not it is a beautiful like burnt orange dusty orange glowing shade and another one of their polishes from their um, newest collection actually it peeled off it is actually in my bathroom right now so when i find that label i will throw it up on the screen but this is beautiful the formula was absolutely amazing don't mind those little air bubbles this is just this is just two coats it's a beautiful olive toned green that has gold shimmer and gold flakies it looks like very very a very small amount of gold flakies another china glaze that i have is it's alive so this is the one that i was talking about that looks very similar to the colores de caro and it's machu picchu but you can see that they're not the same a little bit different so you have china glaze it's alive it's more of a chunkier <laughs> chunkier it, the glitters are a little more bigger right um, the color is a little more deeper compared to Machu Picchu. It's more grungier, I'd say. Not as sparkly either. And then last, but certainly not least, you guys are probably surprised that I still own this. This is China Glaze, Don't Let the Dead Bite. This was so super old, look at this. I actually need to put some polish thinner in here. This does not look like the day that it came out. The glitters bled into this base as they did with all of them. But it's just your classic polish for Halloween. It's an OG staple that if you have this, then you know what I mean. It, it, you cannot find this anywhere. I remember I walked into a beauty supply store and there were so many of these for sale and I just didn't grab them because I didn't know about the hype back then but I wish I would have and I you know would have kept them nice and safe but the glitters would have bled into it making it more of this pinkish tone before it was more of like a fleshy tone color but I'm not mad at it because it's still a pretty color and I can throw on some Halloween stickers, right? And this is just two coats. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do a separate Halloween rack or a separate, like, secondary seasonal rack, I guess. Um, I really, really love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays to celebrate. I, I'm filming this on October 1st, and I already have my Halloween decorations outside of my home, um, inside of my home as well. It's a very fun time for me, especially for my kids, too. Again, please make sure to check out all of the wonderful videos listed down below and everybody else's Halloween rack. Let me know if you have any of these on your seasonal rack or if you have any of these in mind to wear for the month of October. It's always fun to see if we have the same type of tastes or if we like the same types of polishes, etc. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you do. I upload videos with live swatches and I love talking about all things nails and nail polish. Thank you again and I'll see you guys in my next one.